Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. So the other day I went on a shoot with my friend Evold and we tried to take some editorial style pictures and I also posted a video on that of how I would go about taking these kind of editorial pictures. I posted the video, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's like three videos back from this one. I really enjoyed the shoots, I enjoyed the style and the response was really good on the video as well. So I decided why not do an editing tutorial of how I would edit these editorial photos. So that is exactly what today's video is. I'm gonna get straight into it, there's no need for anything else really. Um, let's go edit some photos. All right, so getting into it, the first thing that I'm gonna do is just create a base preset for all of these photos. I've chosen the best few out of the whole batch that I took. I probably took about 700 photos during the whole shoot, but I've just picked out my top ones from the whole shoot, and we're gonna go through and edit those today. But like I said, I wanna create a base preset and then just copy those to everything else so that we can save a whole bunch of time, and then just kind of adjust each picture accordingly so they all have the same look and feel to them. So getting into it, if you watch the vlog on the shoot, you would have known that one of the things I was really looking for was contrast. And this was to represent Evil's contrast and his identity of coming from a really conservative family, but him being really liberal. So just his contrast of fitting in, in life. So that's something I want to emphasize in the edits as well, is bringing out that contrast and really emphasizing that. So first things first, I am going to start by bringing these highlights down. He was wearing all white, so that is very bright. So I want to keep the detail of the highlights in there. I'm going to bring up the shadows take down no i'll take down the whites a little bit not too much and then i'm gonna bring down the blacks just a little bit i'll keep the whites over there bring up the contrast actually i'll leave the contrast for right now i'm gonna work on the tone curve just quickly just bring up those highlights drop the shadows do i want to fade it i'm gonna i'm not gonna fade it too much i want to keep as pure of a black as i can but I am gonna drop the highlights just a little bit just because they are super bright. That all looks good to me. Up next, I'm just gonna drop the saturation to about minus 10, and then the clarity, I'm gonna take down to about minus five. So that's looking good so far, but right now these blues are just way too much for me, so I'm gonna bring down the blues. If you've watched some of my previous videos and you've seen my style on Instagram, you'd know that I really like that steel blue color desaturating the blues. So I'm gonna bring the luminance down and the saturation just to give it a quite a, a unique feel to it. I'm gonna bring the exposure up as well. I just think it needs a bit of exposure to it. So just hitting the plus key on my keyboard to do that. Up next, I want to add some grain to this photo to give it some texture and some feel, just to give it that nice filmy look. So I'm gonna bring the grain up to about 40 and that looks good to me. Up next, I'm just going to enable profile corrections. I forgot to do that at the beginning just because it's giving quite a bit of vignetting. I did kind of like that though. So instead of leaving the profile corrections on, I'm gonna come over to the effects and just bring down that vignetting ever so slightly just so we have a little bit around the edges. Not too much, but just to bring the center of attention to the subject in the middle. Right now, I think this is looking really good. The last thing I'm gonna do is just bring up the saturation of the oranges and maybe even the yellows and the reds just to make his skin tone a little bit more saturated and then just bring the blues down even more so that looks good to me i'm very happy with this edit so far so if i put these edits side by side we can see the differences that we've made so far we've desaturated the blues brought up the exposure just a bit i feel like i still need to add a bit more contrast just to really get that message home of the contrast so i'm going to go back up and just bring the contrast slider up a little bit into about plus 20 and then I'm just gonna bring those shadows up just a little bit more. We're really pushing the shadows and highlights but that is because we have super high contrast. So I'm happy with this edit so far. So what I'm gonna do next is hit Command C on this photo and this will bring up your copy settings. I'm gonna leave everything checked apart from white balance and exposure just because each photo will have a different white balance and exposure. Oh, also the crop, make sure the crop is turned off. And if you have any brushes gradient filters or radial filters this photo doesn't have any so it doesn't really matter right now hit copy on that and then I'm gonna click command A to select all of the photos that I have and then all you have to do is hit command V to paste the settings on the rest of the photos so that should do the trick and your presets should now be on all the other photos so you can see it's already applied and it's looking really good I love the colors in these but I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning and just go through these super quickly and show you what I would do to adjust them all but already, like, if we look at this, 
I'm super happy with the results. The colors look really good. This was taken on a tennis court. There wasn't much green to the tennis court, but we can add that back if we want to. So I'm gonna come over to the yellows, just boost that and then bring it over into the green section over here. We see that it does kind of affect his hair a little bit as well, just because there's yellow in his hair. But I don't think it's too bad, so I'm gonna leave that where it is, and I'm gonna hit Command C on this one, hit Enter, and then paste this on all of the tennis court shots, so that we get that green in all of the tennis court shots. So go over there, paste, and that should paste that on all of the tennis court pictures now. And if we scroll through that, just gonna boost up the exposure on this one, the green kind of does look like a bit too much, so I feel like we might have to stay away from using too much green in the photo. I feel like that looks a bit better. So these photos are looking pretty good and I don't think I need to do much more to them, but if you did want to add a bit of spice to it and add some different tones, maybe add a blue split tone in the shadows, that looks really good. And if you want to add something warmer in the highlights, that looks pretty cool. So there's so many different options you can do when it comes to editing. This is just me and my style. So I'm going to move on and try and go through these quickly. This video is getting on quite a bit now. So as we can see, the green didn't really work for all of them. So you're going to have to go back and adjust this according to the picture. So I'm just bringing those yellows down. The orange is also quite saturated in this picture. But once we correct it, it takes like two seconds to do and the picture's looking great already. When it comes to the portraits, I just really want to brighten up his eyes because it was so bright outside the sun was coming from directly above so his eyes were generally covered by shadows for the most part so all I'm gonna do is just zoom into this picture go over to our adjustment brush and just brush over the iris part of the eyes just like that and then I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a bit not too much so it doesn't look unnatural already so if I go to the brushes and flip that on and off it's a very subtle adjustment, but I think it does make quite a big difference to the overall picture. And that is looking good. Just gonna bring the crop of this one in a bit more. Not too much. I also think it's a little bit overexposed, so I'm just gonna bring that down so it's exposed properly. But that looks good. Moving on, this is where I really wanted to emphasize the contrast and the half shadows. So just bringing up the exposure on this one just to make sure that ear vault is properly exposed for. But then I'm gonna bring these blacks down quite a bit and also bring the shadows down so we really get a proper black within the shadows. One thing that we can try it as well that I think would be pretty cool is if we desaturate the yellows almost all the way, then the color of the concrete goes away and the color focus is really placed on the subject then as well. And I think that looks really good. So what I'm gonna do going forward is just copy the settings of this photo so we don't have to keep doing it over for all of the other photos taken in the same location. Just scroll right over to the end, hit Command V, and that should be pasted on everything we see. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> so just going through it really quickly, we can see how quick and easy it is to adjust for each photo once you have that base preset. This looks so good. Here the contrast is really starting to come to life. So pretty much all I'm doing now when going through it is just adjusting the exposure accordingly. Bring the exposure up a bit on there, not too much. Just bring the exposure up on there. So once you get going, it's actually really quick and easy to do editing like this. Just bringing down the shadows on this one, bringing up that exposure. So as we can see, this portrait really needs some work to it, so I'm just gonna brighten up the exposure quite a bit. And then I'm also gonna work on his eyes a little bit with the adjustment brush, so coming over to that. Again, just brushing over the iris. And what I'm gonna do is bring up the exposure and also just bring up the saturation a little bit as well as the shadows. And that is looking good, the eyes are popping. I also think we could bring down this red saturation just a bit, his skin has quite a bit of red to it, but that looks good to me. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below. Do you like the edits that I'm doing? What would you do that's different? Please tell me all of the things. Just up here, the last edits coming over to this one. I'm just bringing down the exposure. The preset has pretty much done the rest. Like really, there's not much I need to do more to this photo. Maybe just play around with the blue saturation a bit more bring up the luminance of it but that looks super cool i love the simplicity of the colors as well just blue orange and then black and white and then lastly i'm just going to end off with this one where evolved fell down the stairs so what i did the original photo was taken this way and i just flipped it around completely just to make it a bit more abstract and weird and then i'm just going to bring up the exposure just a little bit and then bring down these shadows to emphasize the contrast but once again there's not much more i can do to this photo to make it better so i'm going to leave this one here as well so there you have it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below did i smash the photo edits or did i destroy the photos forever never to be seen again buried in a grave 
uh, I hope not. I hope you enjoyed that video. But let me know if you would like to see any other kind of editorial style videos, any other editing videos, just all of the suggestions, all of the comments, leave it down below. I'll definitely take any of your ideas into consideration because I'm always looking for new ideas, especially since I have all the time now. Please stay tuned for more videos coming almost every day. Since I've finished university now, I have so much time to keep making videos. So really excited to keep going, got some new and exciting stuff, also bringing something back that kind of started off my whole channel. It's not the weekend venture if you're wondering that, um, but I'm excited to bring it back and that'll be in tomorrow's video, so please stay tuned for that, it's gonna be exciting. And in the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.